Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with some more Psalm 66. And the, this is going to be uh, a, a bit of a, another tough subject. Um, the first message today was a little bit on the rough side, very much so in your face, a bit confrontational, as I tend to be very blunt and aggressive in general. And this is, it's a little bit more of that. Psalm 66, I'm um, coming at you just straight away, just a full body tackle. Are you ready? No? Well, you might want to click away from this video because it's about to get a little hot. And this is going, I'm going to start at verse 8 here. Oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But you brought us out to rich fulfillment. There is the rich fulfillment at the end. And there is um, keeping our soul among the living and not allowing our feet to be moved at the beginning. But all that comes through testing, refining. By the way, silver and gold are refined in fire. Just so you're aware. Um, being afflicted, having men right over our heads, going through fire and through water, just a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of like Job all over again. So I've certainly covered this topic on the channel before. But once again, it bears repeating. All of us, all of us are going to go through rough times in this life. I've heard it said that you're either in the middle of going through a hard time or you're about to be heading into a hard time. That sounds like an incredibly pessimistic way to look at this life. At the same time, there is a lot of truth in that. Anyone who's been around for any length of time, and you know, I'm old, I'm 36, I've been around the block a few times. Um, I know 36 is nothing compared to some people, but in comparison to a lot of YouTube's watchers, I'm probably ancient. So with that in mind, I've been around the block a few times, and I can tell you, life definitely has its hard spots. Being born in the United States, um, that alone has saved me from a lot of the hardship around the rest of the world that hasn't spared me from having quite a few rough spots in my life. I won't go into all the details here. There are plenty of other videos on my channel that talk about stuff like that that I've gone through. But we've all suffered. We've all had a hard time. Some of us are still in the middle of it. Some of us are coming out of it, and for some of us, life is really good right now. And it's kind of like, you know, all that bad stuff that happened, it's just, it, it's, it's a bad dream. But for those of us, uh, to those who have come through hard times and are now out, I think most of us could agree that who we are right now was defined by some of the suffering we went through. And for the Christians, that should have not, it shouldn't have broken you down, embittered you, filled you with anger and hate, what should have happened is you should have submitted to God through the problem, you should have seen his perspective on the problem, and you should be stronger for it. The beginning and the end of the people of God, just like the life of Job, are good. And if it's not good, it's not that the Bible's wrong, it's that something is wrong in your heart. Again, I told you it's going to be it's going to be very confrontational, very just boom right between the eyes. And I make no apology for it. Someone someone has to call you out. Someone has to remind you, "Hey, God is in control. He is good. You've gone through hard times. His grace is there. He's refining you. He's testing you." And if you come out broken and defeated, God's not some cruel God who just wants to break you in half. No, he wants to strengthen you and make you strong through adversity. He wants to give you strength to comfort others who are going through similar hard times. And if you break down, that means you did not open your hands to receive the grace that he opened his hands and heart to give to you. The fault is not on God. The fault is on you. And if I lose some subscribers because of this, I will accept that. That is a hard hard message to receive, much less from some just random guy online. But I want you to stop and consider what I've said and those verses that I read from the Word of God. And I would like to submit that it is not the Word of God that is in error here. It's our hearts, it's our heads, it's our lives. 
because God does help those who call out to him. He does. So if there's something wrong, yeah, this life can be messed up. We could be messed up. God is not messed up. Please, if you've watched the video this far, if you've stomached it this far, please take the time to consider what I've said. Um, if you want to unsubscribe or just you know leave a hateful comment, feel free to do so. Feel free to hit the dislike button, but I'm hoping that some people will hear what I've said and will strongly consider these words because throughout my life, through all the hardships I've endured, some of which have not been fun at all, I found the Bible to be true. And I found the beginning and the end of the Lord to be good. So guys, thank you for giving me about six minutes of your life. Thank you for considering what I've said. If you've watched this entire video, thank you so much for your time. I definitely appreciate it. I love you very much. And God bless.